Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make ambient melodies for Isaiah TJ. Let's get right into FL. So I'm going to be breaking down this melody I made earlier today, and I'm going to show you guys a couple tips and tricks on how to make your melodies more dark and ambient sounding. So the first thing I did was put my scale into F sharp minor. If you guys don't know how to choose a scale in FL, all you want to do is come to this triangle here, go down to view, scale highlighting, and then you select whatever key you want to use. And I just laid down this. It's very simple. Just three notes following the key, F sharp, D, and C sharp. I added tons of effects on this melody. I'm going to show you guys what I added right now. First thing I did was pretty standard. Just added an EQ2 and I cut out the lows and some of the highs. Next, I opened up a fruity love filter and I picked the basic gate preset. Pretty much what this is doing is making the melody sound like it's fading in and out. And the last thing I added was just a fruity reverb too. And here are the settings on it. And I also went down to this knob right here and turned it a bit to the left just to stereo shape it. Pretty much what that does is just make everything sound like it's a little bit more open while you're listening to it. And the preset I used for that melody is in Omnisphere and it's called Sacred Shrine. Next, I opened up SQ8L to find some chords and I chose the Voyager preset. Here's the chord progression that I added. And once again, there's a lot of effects on this one as well, so I'm going to break that down for you guys. I started with an EQ2 and I cut out most of the highs in the mid, and I also cut out most of the bass, just because I wanted to isolate one certain part of the sound. On the next EQ, I just took out a really bad frequency that was bothering me while I was listening to it. I assume no one else wanted to listen to it either. Then I added a default fruity delay 3, but I turned it down to about a quarter on the mixer. And the last thing I added is a looperator. It's kind of hard to explain what this looperator is doing, but basically, as the melody plays, it replays. I'll just play it so you guys can hear it. So here's what it sounds like with the looperator off. And here's what it sounds like with the loop right around. So as you guys just heard, it's kind of like replaying the chords after they play a second time. And once again, I stereo shaped it just a little bit. If you're trying to make ambient melodies or beats, it's definitely important to go crazy with the reverb, stereo shaping it. Just do some weird things that aren't normal, and that's the way you'll come up with a cool new sound. Next, I added a pluck from Expand. It's under the hard leads category, but to me, this sounds more like a pluck, and it's called Nasty Fifth. So on this one, I added a reverb too. Here's what the settings look like. I added a love filter once again using the basic gate preset, same thing as the first melody. And I also added another looperator. All the looperator presets I'm using are in my looperator bank. If you guys wanna check those out, there's a link down to it in the description. So to show you guys what the looperator is doing, I'm gonna play it once again with it off and then with it on. And now here's with it on. Just adds a really cool sound afterwards and makes it seem like it's a lot more complex than it is when it's really just two notes repeating over and over again. Next, I added a lead from Expand. It's under the Soft Leads tab and it's a preset called Digilog. From mixing on this lead, I just added a default ambience, and I also added an EQ2, just taking out the lows and messing around with some of the frequencies in the high end. I also stereo shaped this, and if you guys didn't notice on the velocity, I turned this down a lot just because I want it to be a little background noise that you don't really notice. And even if the listeners don't pick up on it, it's still something there that's taking up room. Now, the last thing I added was a sub bass, which isn't really part of the melody, but I just like adding sub basses to my melodies. And here's what this one sounds like. Now for the mixing on this, I put an EQ2 cutting out all the highs, just because I wanted to isolate a certain frequency in the bass. And I also added the second ambient preset, which is called Pap and Dark Rimba Room, and it's turned up about a quarter on the mixer. Tons of producers say, you know, it's a forbidden rule to add any kind of reverb on your 808s or reverb on your master, which for the most part I agree with. For ambient beats, it doesn't really matter as much. I add reverb to my 808s all the time when I'm making Isaiah or Wi-Fi type beats. It's really just all up to you. If someone says they don't like it, whatever, man, they don't like it, keep making what you like making. Anyways, now that I showed you guys everything and how to make the melody. Here's what all the melodies sound like when they're put together.
If you guys enjoyed this and you learned something, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And since you just learned how to make ambient melodies, make sure to click this video right here to learn how to make ambient beats.